The deck network. Build a deck. Bam! This is the Deck Network. I'm your host, Mike Danzolio, and we have the King of Queens right here, Mr. Matt Dalton, the co-host here. Remember, the Deck Network, all decks, all the time. Okay, Matt, today's show, we're going to talk about Trex Railings of for course. 2018. This is the new Trex brochure, even though the cover is the same, it's different on the inside. Uh, We've so covered Trex decking, lighting, now we're doing the railing. Makes sense. Completes okay. the 2018 picture. Okay, so let's go to the Trex Railing site. That's trex.com on the interwebs. They have three different distinct lines of railings. Okay. I'm not going to say that it's a good, better, best. There is a less expensive and then two different types of their... More like, premium offering? Premium railings. The signature railing, which is the aluminum, and the transcend, which is the composite rail. And then they have the Trex Select rail, which we're going to start on that... And they have, this is a new one, and they came out, they introduced these in a few years ago, but it had a standard white baluster and a piece of large hardware, but what they did was they cut the hardware down, and we got these in June, and we did sell quite a bit of them because it didn't, it had something different, it wasn't just the white square balusters, they were offered with the black round balusters, and of course everybody knows that that's a great look. When you see the black round balusters, your eye goes through them. It doesn't stop at the balusters. The black and the narrow, you see through it. So it's good for, it's a good value option for if you have a really nice view that you'd like to see, whether it be on the river or the ocean or... Just a nicely landscaped yeah, golf yard. course or something or other. It looks great. I can see that. So the, uh, the Trek Select white railing. I have a price for those since those people are interested in pricing. Is this is important. probably about $25 a linear foot. And when people ask me how I come up with the price for a linear foot for railing, I'll get a sleeve, a cap of skirt, a six foot section of rail, add it up and divide it by six. So every, every six session is going to need another section. At the end, you're going to need one more. And going down, so it gets, it may be, if I say $25 a foot, if you have stairs and this and that, if you say 26 it may get you right there. Okay. But for comparison's sake, and that's the best way that I could find. I've seen so many people do it different ways, and this one looks like the most, the fairest way because it has one sleeve cap of skirt and a six-foot section of railing. All right, so let's go to the, uh, let's see if they get any pictures in here before we run over. Yeah, it's, it, you can, you it can, looks pretty good. It does. It, this one, okay, what it also it allows you to do is it allows you to put a flat piece of decking on. You have the mat rail, the, the, the drink rail. You can put either a, a piece of decking or a two by four fits on top of that. And that's very popular. And that's something that's, and I'm not going to say that it's uh, just Trex, but Trex has the products that can do that easiest. And you'll see soon, a little later, that this Trex railings are very, very versatile. Look at that. Yeah, that looks that good. Looks good with that white. All right, so let's get to the their next one, their aluminum railing. This is called their Trex Signature Rail. Matt, you want to grab that black one over there, please? Absolutely. Aluminum railing. Most people, they like the composite rail, but then a lot of people there, the type of house that they have, they'll say, well, I'd like to have something that's less rail. And the aluminum rail does that. There's less rail. It has a, it's a, it's a narrower post. You're not resting your drink up on here. But you could. They have a bracket that fits under here. Okay. That you could put the 2 by 4 on top of it. I'm glad you, you mentioned that. So I'm the co-host. Works perfect on that. Works well. You can put the, the uh, again, the drink rail, the party rail, the mat rail, anything you want to call it. Absolutely. These are posts. They don't slide over a 4x4 four four like they do on the composite rails. And what's great about that is you just, you can, however you want to do it, you can screw it into the deck as long as you have some very good wood underneath, a good blocking, or you're mm -hmm. going to put the bolts underneath it with the plates, or it goes into masonry well, so it's very versatile. It... Uh, the cost of these are in the $37 a linear foot for the black. The uh, When you go down the stairs in corners, because you have more hardware, it may go up a little bit more from that. But this is a good, inexpensive way. Say, for instance, where we are here on Long Island, there's a lot of places, houses that you'll see, they'll have a masonry front stoop. Sometimes it's six and eight steps high. Mm -hmm. and it doesn't have a rail on it. That's dangerous. Well, it's difficult to put a composite rail on there because you'd have to attach a... 
a flush mount post and then you would put it together from there. Whereas the signature or these aluminum rails have the flush mount post included with it. So it gets to be a little more cost effective, but these are great rails. We just sell, we stock the black ones at No Maintenance Decks, sell an awful lot of them. How much? How much uh, they're in the $37 a linear foot price. Okay. So it costs less than the transcend rail. Okay. And more than the select rail. Good. They have the lights that came for that 2017. This is the cap light. And then we have a little wedge light here, again, LED. We have a full video on it. Just yep. look in the library there. Yep. You'll see it for 2018. And, um, these come in white and bronze, but black sells the most of it. We sell some white and bronzes. We don't stock the other two colors. We just do that on a special order. We get them in in a couple of days. But you can talk to the uh, sales pros here at No Maintenance Decks, and they can take care of that. We'll hook you right up here in Farmington. Really good farm. stuff. And for, for 2018, Matt and I were down at the... Uh, the International Builder Show last week? Yes, night? we were. Wait a minute. I wasn't invited again. What's going on, Mike? I thought the budget Ooh. was there. Every year, Mike gets to go on these elaborate trips, and myself, usually back here in the studio, fielding your emails and calls, and we get a ton of them coming in, Matt at the Deck Network .com, Mike at the Deck Network.com. Uh, but no, I did <laughs> right, not get okay. invited this I, year. Let me maybe go in 2019 a bit. will be my maybe, year. Maybe go backwards a little bit. I but went you, to the Deck, uh, the International Builder Show in... Uh, it's usually in Las Vegas, but these last two years it was in Orlando, Florida. Oh, Florida in January just must be terrible. Can yeah. we flash the photo of Mike on the golf course? <laughs> we need to put no, that in. See that? That's right. what was going on. Okay, while so I was freezing this my is a new off. line of railing they have that's uh, interesting. Uh, Trex acquired a commercial railing company. Looks like it would be to use this the one's called the or This something. is what they call the rod rail, and this looks pretty good. And there'll be some more pictures as the year goes on. I don't think it's going to be introduced till the second quarter, but it's. Um, I saw it at the show. It's into, it's different, but I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely. I have no pricing on it yet, so it's it's got to be similar. How could it be anything other than that? It's like it's used to hold in cattle or something, but it's a different look and it looks mm -hmm. good. Well, it's part of the uh, reveal line. Look at those nice curved railings. Oh yeah, we can do that here, right? We can't curve them like that. That has to be. We curve, at no, we curve railings at no maintenance six, but we curve the composite rails and we use an oven for that. These have to be done with at a metal shop. Mm, okay. But we uh, can uh, get you in the right direction if yes. you need. Well, they, yeah, I think Trex does them. Then we're going to go, now we're going to go into the Trex Transcend Rail. This is the one we sell the most of. This is the workhorse rail. Oh, yeah. So, Matt, why don't you grab that? White one? Uh, the, grab the gray one first. This this particular display piece has been around since 2010, and it's just still as useful then as it is today. It's just, uh, okay, this is the standard Trex colored transcend rail in gravel path with the gravel path Light cap. lighted cap. This is the standard crown top railing. Crown top rail, that's Solid the universal rail. rail or the bottom rail, and you get these these inserts here, which can be changed if you use different balusters or when you're going downstairs. Someone was really thinking when they designed this years and years ago. But uh, it has the hardware. It uh, works really well. This is the standard configuration, which you'll see in this photo right behind us here. But that one is a style that they have. Uh, you want to grab this, put it, toss this back. This one is the... Um, this one is one a very popular rail. I actually like this rail because it has the vintage lantern crown top and universal rail with the black round balusters, and then it has the white sleeve cap and skirt. It brings out if you have white corners on your house, it just brings it all out. It's um, got a great design on it. But what's different about the Trex rails, or what's great about it, is its versatility mm. and. And that's what you're going to want with the deck. Yeah, and you're sure. You're living on it. So. You, a lot of people like that crown top rail. It's got the graspable handrail. But a lot of people want a flat top or a drink rail, or Matt used to call it this the Matt rail. This guy right here would okay. like that. So let's, um, this one right here. Let's grab that next one over there. Again, this this display has been around for many many years no need to change it why no mess with something it. that's so great we have the flat that's the piece of decking on the top this is a substantial yeah yeah so the uh, instead of as we were looking on that other one we had over there with the pull that back up quickly this one has the the crown top rail 
and it has the top of the unit it's called the universal top and bottom if you get rid of this one and you take you buy two of these turn this one upside down then you have a flat bottom so that you can attach your decking or your two by four so you can blast that away and then you can just change the inserts or order it with different inserts so you can get the square balusters the round aluminum balusters, the square aluminum balusters is just, uh, you can put the glass in with this. There's glass in here. So there's a glass uh, deck in here somewhere. And that's where, if you have a view that you don't want to interrupt. Yeah, that's that's it. That's the way to do I it. I don't see the glass one. Okay. Okay, that one can go down. The Trex composite or the Trex transcend rail, so versatile. There must be tens of thousands of different combinations that you can do with these different railings and that's what makes Trex great in the industry now they have the uh, where, we, where you had the top one we had the two by four or the, the, the two by or the piece of decking on the top uh -huh. you can put this two by four on top and that is very versatile let's see if they have a photo of this anywhere in here that's what the all have the piece of decking on the top and you are right tons of different combinations here unlimited well, there's a there glass one right there. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, so some people like the top rail having a little different color on it, and then this makes it flat so you can, if you like Matt, you always want to put Get your the beverage on, on there. there. Usually an alcoholic one. Okay, that's it for the Trex Railing Show. Trex rails are just so versatile. We just, it's an industry standard. We sell just mountains and truckloads of it all the time. The eye gets drawn to the railing. It's a big part of the deck. Yes. It's important you do it right. The People come to me and they say, well, you know, I, I'm up, I, I, I don't want to, I only have a certain number that I want to spend. How should I do it? Should I spend less on the railings and more on the decking? So I found that if you spend less on the decking and more on the railing, then you're going to be happier. You'll get, you'll get more value because that way. Because after a while, you're not really looking at the decking anymore. You have like, furniture covering yeah, it. Yeah, kids' toys like at Matt's house. And all then, over the place. You and know. then... Um, That's a good point. The railing is something you definitely yeah, you don't really, want to you really, you see the rail. You're looking at the rail all the time. That's a deck network tip so, right there. So uh, you can come to No Maintenance Deck Route 110 in Farmingdale. We can get you a brochure. We'll set you up here. You we are the to, experts in decking. You can go to the Trex website. Not me, uh, these guys, experts. But uh, any questions, comments, concerns, you can go to Matt at the deck or, or Mike. Or Mike at the deck network.com. Here's a photo right here of the 2x4 on top of the crown top. It's got a curve with the lighted pyramid white cap Not and the sharp. deck rail light. It's got it all going for it like right there. how they there. run it into the stone there. Oh, there. yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. That was, a, that was a great picture right Endless there. Endless possibilities. Same deck. Just, a little uh, bench built in. There's so much you can do with the Trex products, and the railing is the most versatile of all of them. So that's it for today's show. Have a great day. See it, you later. Ciao for now.